profession map describes the range of competencies that all those aiming to deliver great quality should seek to develop. It is a natural extension of the original competency framework that the CQI launched in 2014. The structure of the map is quite simple. Each competence area of the original framework, for example, governance, is broken down into three to four key components of competence. In turn, each of these key components is defined via a list of skills written as statements and arranged across four tiers. These tiers relate to the progressive development of competence from foundational levels to a more advanced state. The behavioural competencies have all been gathered under the leadership element and the knowledge that complements this map will be available via an updated body of knowledge and an ever-evolving learning and development curriculum which will be available to all members. The primary audience for this map is people working in the various roles across the entire scope of quality management. However, the map should be of interest and a source of reference for those wanting to find out more about what quality professionals do, those interested in pursuing a career in quality, and those working in other disciplines wishing to build some form of competence in quality. For example, engineers who may be seeking to build their competence in designing quality into their products and services. When I first joined the CQI in 2020, I carried out a series of interviews with members to find out what support they needed. One particular interview struck me. I spoke to a young person in a small engineering firm who had just been promoted to the role of quality manager. What he told me is that he had little idea of what he was meant to do and the competencies that he needed to develop. He had no accessible source of reference. And that struck me as quite strange because the CQI had already launched its competency framework. And then it dawned on me, what he needed was a more practical tool to assist him in his competence development. I then carried out a series of discussions with quality leaders around the world and came to recognize that the original framework was highly regarded and therefore there was no need for a major overhaul. Instead, what we needed to do was develop a more detailed list of competencies to support the wide range of roles across the quality profession. At the same time, I also became aware of the rise of digital technologies and the increasing influence of environmental, social and governance management. So I also realized that the CQI needed to equip its professionals with a list of the new competencies to help them embrace the impact of both of these challenges. Remaining qualified as a professional requires continuous professional development and this is becoming increasingly important as the rate of change in organisational life and the wider global environment increases. Professionals that continue to develop their competence will lead the way in their chosen discipline and become of increasing value to their colleagues, their customers, their companies and their clients. And this goes for all professions, not just those working in quality. In addition, those responsible for teams will have the basis to assess and develop their overall team competence and match this to the growing and developing needs of their organisations. Finally, I want people like that young man who I spoke to about earlier to have confidence in and pride in their professional development. It will be by doing this that we develop professionals that are fit for the future. Mm -hmm.